Hello everyone, good evening. Um, my name is Anna and I'm your teacher for today. Can you please let me know if you can see and hear me okay? Добрый вечер, все меня зовут Анна. Я буду вашим учителем на сегодняшний вечер. Пожалуйста, скажите, слышно ли и видно ли меня хорошо. Если да, то, пожалуйста, поставьте плюсик или напишите да. Все ли в порядке у нас со звуком, с камерой и так далее. Окей, okay, отлично. That's great. Thank you. Okay, I hope that it works for everybody. So, uh, this is the pre-intermediate level of English. So, I will be speaking English a lot. But I see quite a lot of new people. So, uh, let's make it a deal. If you don't understand something or if I'm speaking too fast, please let me know. Okay? Уровень у нас сегодня pre-intermediate. Обычно я стараюсь говорить на английском языке, но я вижу, у нас сегодня много новых людей. Поэтому я, если что-то непонятно или говорю я слишком быстро, пожалуйста, обязательно напишите об этом, скажите, я обязательно себя продублирую на, английском языке, на русском языке, но я верю, что вам полезно будет, если большинство, конечно, будет речи на английском. So one more question for you. Is it your first time? If, you, if it's your first time at a webinar with me, can you please put a plus or say yes or okay or whatever? Hello, Olga. So this is not your first time. But if it's your first time with me, if you see me for the first time, can you put a plus or say yes or just write one or whatever? If it's not your first time, you don't have to write anything. Okay, hello, Yulia. Hello, Yelena. I just want to know who is here for the first time. Okay. Если кто-то у нас сегодня первый раз, пожалуйста, можете дать себе знать. Напишите плюсик, единичка, или да, или окей, или звездочку нарисуйте, что угодно. Если это сегодня ваш первый раз со мной. Okay. Anna, okay, that's your first time. Okay, good. Denise, okay, thank you. Okay. Елена, for the first time, okay. okay. First, Надежда. Анна Алексеева, okay, good. Okay, thank you very much, thanks. Well, I'm glad that you are with us, I'm glad that you came. I hopefully you enjoy your time today. And today we're talking about prepositions, as you can hear uh, and read, see from your final, uh, I'm sorry, from your first slide. So today we're talking about such prepositions as since, by, with, about, after, for, from, and of. Okay, hopefully you have heard these prepositions before, but English prepositions are a very tricky topic. Uh, students usually don't like them. Teachers usually don't like to teach them because they're not very easy. So I hope that today our webinar lasts for 90 minutes and at the end of the webinar you'll have a test. So um, hopefully at the end of the webinar you'll be able to say yes, I understand more, I understand something better. Okay, сегодняшний наш вебинар длится 90 минут, в конце вы напишите тест. Если у вас возникают какие-то проблемы по ходу тех моментов, о которых мы говорим, спрашивайте сразу. Uh, если я не смогу ответить uh, сразу, чтобы не задерживаться, обязательно отвечу в конце вебинара. Поэтому, пожалуйста, не стесняйтесь, задавайте свои вопросы. Okay? So, uh, we will start with the listening task. Okay, and I will play an audio clip for you. And this is a conversation between two young people. They're talking about something. Uh, and after that, we'll uh, play a little game, okay, with that, with, with you. So, please listen. Uh, to the to the task to the to the audio and then I'll show you something. Okay, so enjoy. Hey Brett, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good, thank you. Hey, do you want to play a game? Sure. What sort of game? Let's play twenty questions. Okay. 
Go ahead. Okay, who am I thinking about? Male. Is it a male? <laughs> yes, it's a male. <laughs> Is he an actor? Yes, he's an actor. Does he have short hair? Yes, he has short hair. Right. Uh, is he famous? Yes, he's famous. Um, does he have blue eyes? Yes. He does have blue eyes. No, he has... no. He doesn't have blue eyes. No, he doesn't have blue eyes. Uh, does he have brown eyes? Yes. Um, is he short? No. Um, is he in the Ocean's Twelve? <laughs> yes. He is? Yes. Okay. Um, is he married? Currently? No. He isn't married? No. Okay. Um, is he tall? Yes. Okay. Is he George Clooney? Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. Okay, my turn now. Um, who am I thinking about? Is he a male? Yes. Is he an actor? No. Is he a singer? No. Is he a politician? Yes. Does he have white hair? Yes. Is he American? No. Is he British? No. Is he Australian? Yes. Is he is is he your prime minister? He is. Is he John Howard? Yes, he is. Well done. <laughs> Okay, so that was a 20 questions game, as it was called. And I hope that you understood how it's played. Uh, I'll show you uh, the script of what you just heard. Uh, so basically, there are two people. One of them thinks about somebody famous, and then another asks the questions that the another person should only answer yes or no to. And after a series of questions, after certain information, another person should guess who the other, you know, that famous person was, and then they take turns. Okay, is that clear? Was it clear how how they play this game? Okay, I'm just I'm asking you. Can you give me your answer? Is was it clear how they played it? So you can see the questions that they asked, the, the answers that they gave. Yes, so that was clear. Okay. Okay, so, all right, good. Uh, let us play this game then, and I will think about somebody famous, okay? And you should ask me questions, but of course you should type them, okay? You cannot talk to me, but you can write. So I'll think about somebody famous. You ask me questions that I can only answer yes or no to, okay? Uh, Jan is first. Is she female? Uh, no. Okay, next questions. The more questions you ask, the easier it will be for you to get to guess it. Uh, is first. Is she married? Uh, Jan спросил, is she female? Я сказала, no. Поэтому ясно, что это уже не женщина. Правда, Елена то же самое. И уже вы должны слушать, что я говорю. Is, is, is she female? Said no. So it means that it is a male. Is he married? Yes, he is married. Does he live in America? Yes, he lives in America. Is he Russian? No. Is he married? Yes, he is married. Is he a politician? Yes, he is a politician. Is he a singer? No, he is not a singer. Is he an actor? No, he is not an actor. Mm -hmm. 
does he have black skin, Jan? Ani, has he black skin? Yes, he has black skin. Is he a president, Elena? У нас все вопросы начинаются с глагола. Is he a president? Yes, he is a president. This is Obama. Should I ask only simple questions? Uh, how old is he? Uh, yes, this is Obama, Елена. Good job, well done. Uh, да, вы должны были только задавать вопросы, на которые я могла ответить да или нет. Это отличное упражнение. Если вы занимаетесь, вы можете предложить своему учителю сыграть такую же игру. Она очень классно развивает uh, ваше умение задавать вопросы. Okay, so great job. This is Barack Obama. Very easy it was, of course. Okay, so let's uh, kick off with our prepositions. So here are some of the basic prepositions that we're going to talk about. Okay, so they are by, since, with, about, for, from, of. Okay. Usually when I teach prepositions, I usually ask my students, what is your favorite preposition? Okay, do you have a favorite preposition? Not necessarily from this list, but in general. Can be any kind of, it can be a preposition of time or of location or place or some preposition that you understand really, really well, that you have no problems with. Because like I said, prepositions can be really difficult at times. So, Yelena says you like by, Olga says for. Okay, who else? What other prepositions do you like? Okay, Anna likes with and since. Okay. Okay, who else? From. Okay, about. So you don't have any problems with that, yeah? You think so. Off and about is really hard for me sometimes. Off, okay. Okay, so today I'll try to show you, since, Jan, thank you very much, with Alek, thank you. Today I'll try to show you that uh, even though that you um, think that you know your prepositions, if it's your favorite preposition, um, there can be exceptions, okay? English grammar is fantastic. Because it can, the, you know, it always has exceptions. There are rules, but there are always exceptions. So the first preposition, preposition that we're going to talk about is the preposition by. Okay, Rona wrote показатель um, genitive. Okay, genitive case is the preposition of. I don't really know what you meant by your what you wrote. So anyway, preposition by. I contact him by phone. Я связываюсь с ним по телефону. Если вы знаете «падежи» в русском языке, вам иногда может быть легче изучать э, предлоги, потому что предлог «by» часто является предлогом творительного падежа. Отвечает на вопрос «кем, чем?». А, я связываюсь с ним по телефону. Okay? «By» а, – инструмент, да? Инстру, инструментальный падеж. Каким образом он с ним связывается? «I came here by car». I think you know it. It's nothing difficult here. We met by chance. Okay, by chance. Not in chance, not on chance. It's a set expression. By chance. No say to this uh, She was bitten by a dog. You know, the same instrumental case. Uh, the light switch is by the door. Okay, in this случае by it уже не имеет никакого отношения к инструменту посредством чего uh, выключать или двери. Uh, by the door, у двери. Okay, the book was written by Pushkin. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, выключать или у двери. Okay. Her salary increased by $200. Ее зарплата выросла на 200 долларов. Обращаю внимание, особенно тех людей, которых интересует бизнес английский. Очень часто встречающаяся ошибка. Да? Говорят, как угодно, только не так. Ее зарплата возросла на 200 долларов, индекс возрос на 80% и так далее. Yeah? By 200 dollars. Это вот по-русски на, по-английски это будет by. Обязательно числите. Okay? So, next. Uh, I contact him by phone. Okay? To send a letter. I'm just giving you more examples so you can see. Uh, to send a letter by post. To hit by hand. To pay by credit card. 
but to pay cash or to pay in cash. Okay? Обратите внимание, платить, платим кредитной карточкой buy credit card or buy bank card, to pay cash or to pay in cash. Мы говорим to pay by cash or to pay to buy cash. Now, let's talk about transport. When we, when we talk about traveling, when we talk about transport. Uh, I wrote only a few things here. So, by car, by train, by plane, by bus, by ship, by bike. Who can add any kinds of transport for me, please? Кто может добавить какой-нибудь еще транспорт? Here you have only six kinds of transport. There are far more. So, can you please add some more? other than car, train, plane, bus, ship, and, and bike. Boat, very good, Anna. Lorry, good, Anna. Okay, who else? Bicycle, Elvira. Elvira, bicycle is the same as bike, really. Uh, helicopter, good, Nikolai. Helicopter, by the tube, Elena. Все, что вы знаете, tube. Tube, как правило, пишется с большой буквы. Очень редко пишется с маленькой. Обязательно с определенным артиклем. Почему? Потому что говорится о конкретной трубе. The tube is the name of the underground in one city only, and it's London. Okay? If you're talking about the underground in Manchester, for example, in the same country, but in other, it's, it's not the tube anymore. Okay? Понятно, да? Tube – это только в Лондоне метро, пишется большой буквы с определенным артиклем. By ship, by tractor, by train, by car. Надежда Козлова, наверное, хотела сказать им carry. Uh, by the tube, good. Uh -huh. good. Uh, by, uh, okay. by food, near. On food, Елена, хорошо. On food. Okay. Who else? Кто еще можно еще сказать? Ну, кроме собак, там, оленей и так далее. Кто знает, как будет паром? Без того, чтобы смотреть в Google сейчас. На пароме путешествовать. Кто знает, как он будет. Ferry. Yes, very good, Елена. By ferry. It's very popular in Britain to, to travel by ferry. Okay. Uh, by the van. Yes, van is the kind of car. Okay, thank you very much. It was excellent. Very good. Um, So here you can also say by road, by air, by sea, by rail. Все виды транспорта, обратите внимание, у нас будет с by. Все также типы транспорта, движение, road, air, sea, rail будет by. Единственное вид транспорта, который у нас будет не с by, это ноги наши, это будет on foot, пешком. On foot. Okay, hope you remember that. Uh, I took her umbrella by mistake or uh, по ошибке. Да? Взял ее зонтик случайно, по ошибке. I didn't do it on purpose. Okay? Вроде можно подумать по ошибке, uh, специально. Почему тут не сказать by purpose? Потому что нельзя сказать by purpose, потому что нужно употреблять on. Это устойчивое выражение, и надо их запоминать. Ян uh, скажет on foot или feet on foot. Множественное числе, как будто на, единственное числе, как будто на одной ноге вы путешествуете. Uh, значит, by mistake или by chance. Uh, у тебя случайно нет, например, там ручки? Do you have a pen by chance? Or I took her umbrella by chance. Or I forgot my phone by chance. Uh, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. On purpose нужно запоминать. Okay. Теперь uh, говорим опять же об инструментальном uh, таком залоге, да? She was bitten by a dog. Кем-то что-то сделано, у нас залог пассивный, когда над, над предметом, над объектом было совершено действие извне. She was bitten by a dog. The program was watched by millions of people. Okay? Программа сама себя посмотреть не может. Ей нужна помощь страдательного залога, да, пассива в английском. The program is watched or the program was watched by millions of people. Кем, чем вы можете поставить вопрос, и у вас тогда будете знать, можно ставить by предлог или нет. Okay, the door was forced by the policeman. Also, the door cannot force itself, so it was forced by the policeman. Okay, another usage of the preposition by is location. 
So when we talk about where something is situated, the light switch is by the door. Come and sit by me. Выключайте у двери, иди сядь рядом со мной. Тут мы не говорим у меня сядь. Приди сядь рядом со мной. Who is that man standing by the window? Кто тот человек, который стоит у окна? Okay, now I would like you to, uh, I'd like you to think uh, by like near. Да, совершенно верно. Near, next to, еще у нас есть предлог рядом с, by, at, uh, предлог, тоже место. Они практически все uh, очень похожи, вернее, практически равноценны. У них очень небольшие такие лексические, стилистические есть отличия. Okay, now I will ask you to do the following. Can you think about the house that you live in? Okay, it can be... Uh, a, a block of flats can be a big house, it can be a, a private house, a detached house, small house, doesn't matter. The house where you live. Can you write down, please, one thing that is situated by your house? Okay, for example, I'll speak about my house. There is a, a, a garage by my house. Okay. There is a garage by my house. What about your house? It can be anything. Just write down one sentence. What is there by your house? There is this and that by your house. Hello, girls, Olga and Maria. Hey, Anna, could you tell me, could you speak more slowly? It's necessary that we might time to repeat. Okay. Елена просит говорить мне медленнее. Хорошо, я буду говорить медленнее. Прошу прощения, что я говорю быстро. Я вас прошу написать мне, пожалуйста, что находится рядом с вашим домом. By. Jan pisze, there is a lot of trash by my house. Oh, that's, that's, I'm sorry. There is a clinic by my house. Okay, that's better, you know. Okay. What, who else? Mm. There is a post by my house. Good. Uh, a table is by my wardrobe. Okay, was the my shkafa stool. Хорошо, она не захотела писать про свой дом, написала про свой шкаф. Okay, there is a bookshop by my house. Okay, bookshop пишется вместе или слипа. There is a medical academy by my house. There are uh, a lot of trees by my house. There are a lot of cars by my house. There is the Kremlin by my house. Елена, Кремль один, где бы он ни был, наверное, в городе у вас один Кремль. Поэтому он будет с артиклем «the» неопределен. Когда мы говорим о чем-то единственном в своем роде, мы всегда определяем, определяем определенный артикл «the». There is a bus stop by my house. A bus stop пишется раздельная лира. There is a stadium. A stadium, a stadium by my house. Uh, there is a university by my house. Uh, there is a supermarket. Um, There's a school stadium by my house. Good. A tree is by my house. Okay, all the good. House to put Eve can say there is a playground by my house. Excellent. Well, I feel like I've seen your houses now because I can imagine them. That's great. All right, let's go further and we'll talk about this usage of the preposition by. Has salary increased by two hundred dollars? Okay. Ее зарплата возросла на 200 долларов. И еще раз обращаю ваше внимание на этот предлог, потому что очень-очень часто делают на него ошибку. Возрасти на сколько-то, упасть на сколько-то, уменьшиться на сколько-то и так далее. The price went up by 10 pence. There was an election. Helen got 25 votes. Norman got 23. Ellen won by two votes. Okay. Обошла на два голоса. Обыграла его на два голоса. Okay. Good. Now, uh, let's practice a little bit, but that's super easy. Okay. I promise it's not difficult at all. So, there was a small table. Can you write down your preposition? Очень-очень легко, мне аж стыдно даже такое, такие задания вам давать. There was a small table, of course, by the bed, of course. I can't pay. Okay, thank you, next. I can't pay. Okay. 
Okay. In. Pause. Special. In. In. By. Not by. <laughs> not me. Not by a cock. In. Next to. Okay, so uh, not by, by no means, not by. You can't say I can't pay by cash. You can only say I can't pay by credit card. But you can say Alia Gradionov, I think, was the only one who was really attentive and he got the right answer. So it's either I can't pay cash, so zero, nothing, or I can't pay in cash. Okay, in some cases you mean by cash. Platinum card. Buy the card, buy card, and a little money platinum either in or this separate area. How long does it take to cross the Atlantic? Your preposition. Okay, of course. By ship, I don't mind to go. I don't mind to go. Не против поехать на машине. Don't mind to go by car, of course. I leave my ID purpose. Специальный человек забывает свои документы дома. I leave my ID. Okay, of course, on purpose. Good. Okay, 